So we're here at the ST booth, and uh, what is the solution right here? And, and hi, so who are you? Hi, I'm Peter Bennett uh, from Math Embedded. Uh, we've done this solution for 4K Open. Uh, it's available from Amazon and uses the STI H418 chipset, a ultra high definition decode. It's capable of 4K P60 output. So it has uh, two outputs? It has one output, a 4K P60 output, and then one input at 4K P30 as well. So there's input too, so it can record? It can record, and this is what we're doing here. We are able to capture uh, an output from, from a uh, HDMI source, um, display it on the screen. Um, here we have our Raspbian-based distribution. Um, we can then play back a 4K stream at the same time. Um, and then what we can do is encode um, the entire uh, streams uh, to a 1080p, H.264. So it playback 4K60, yeah. it records 4K30, yeah. and at the same time it records a full HD of everything. Yeah, it encodes to 1080p60, that's right. So and uh, so is this the package right here? That's the package you can buy from, from Amazon. 4K Open, is it called? Yeah, 4K Open. And um, how much it cost? It costs around uh, 150 pounds, including VAT. And uh, uh, what's the 4K Open? Is that the name of the brand or company? Or yeah, it's the it's the brand. So it's a full website where you can download uh, open, the full open source package for all the software uh, and all the hardware as well. So how does it work? What's the open source solution? It's open source, video? fully open source. So it's using GStreamer V4L2. What do you use? Yes, exactly. It uses yeah. Linux DVB, Alsa, V4L2, GStreamer. The whole package? The whole package. Is this like the 4K open source video dream kind of solution? It, that's or? exactly what it is. Yeah. You need to go buy, buy and download it now. So who's the team? Who's doing this? So the team is Math Embedded, which is where we're from. Math Embedded right here. Yeah. And uh, can you introduce? This Hi. is Andy, another director. Hi. Who are you? I'm a director of the, one of the founders and directors of Math Embedded. So uh, where are you based? Uh, in Bristol in the UK. And uh, why do you do this kind of video product? Uh, because uh, we enjoy doing it, we think uh, we've got a lot of people who want who want to use it. So, um, is there a lot of people using this now? Is uh, how long the time has been available? Um, well, the chipset itself, the ST yeah. chipset, has been that's been available for a couple yeah. of years. Yeah, uh, and it's used in set-top box uh, products around the world. Uh, uh, the 4K Open program we started, we launched it in October of last year. And uh, uh, right here, people can find it. And um, is there any chance there could be a solution that could do 4K 60 encoding? Uh, maybe in the future. That we're at the moment, we're just targeting the uh, 4K P60 decode and 1080p uh, encode. 4K 60, H265, everything. Everything. H265, H264, VC, VP9, uh, MPEG2. Yeah, and also all the audios. And is there soft, uh, what's the OS? What do you run? Linux. So what kind of? We have a Raspbian distribution, so you can you know, download the usual packages, as you can see. You very rarely see it in a 4K state. Other things we have are things like Wi-Fi and PCI Express, so the ability to Where is that? Uh, add this, yeah. this area here. PCI Express? Yep, mini to, PCI Express. To do what? To add in your own card, so you could add an FPGA if you needed to do uh, or some L custom. Yeah. So it's a standard PCI Express module interface, so LTE modems, 3G modems, uh, you can add extra video output devices, um, anything you like really, so it's all so, standard. Uh, uh, this is going to be for the open source video hackers, right? Um, well, it uh, can be used by the hackers, but also a lot of companies doing things like digital signage, point of sale systems, uh, media players. Uh, uh, we've got one recently that a uh, customer we just talked to who are doing uh, medical systems and so on. So a really wide range, anywhere where high really high quality 4K video decode is needed.